And the, and the big reason is because things change really effing fast. Yes, we're back again. We're back again. We're back. Hey, let's pump up the volume. Right here. <laughs> is cmc look everybody loves cmc they started loving him even more last year when he took his shirt off and he was flexing those biceps but then he went out and had maybe the most dominant fantasy football season ever uh and he is coming into this season as a you know darling and and why not he's the unanimous number one for a lot of people uh and and he should be but the, it begs the question, Johnny, is CMC tradable in fantasy football? And this is obviously more geared towards a dynasty approach, but there is some redraft talk here. Like if you get into a situation where you have a lot of injury and you need to parse out your best player for, for other players, is CMC tradable, Johnny? Um, originally, I did not think so because of the amount of production that he gives you in one position is so great he is like two sometimes three positions in one um so that's why i'm like i don't see a situation in which you would want to trade a fantasy asset like that now there are some things you know you're getting into deep analytical um stuff with with some some stuff with cmc as far as rushers go uh you know with the, the amount of wear on his legs all of these things but i still think that he has a few more years, um, usually the, the running back peak age is around 24. Um, and so let's see, I want to pull up where exactly how old um, CMC is. Um, I don't think he's he's 23. He's 23 he's years 23. old. So um, the peak age, like I said, 24. So he's still got a year left before that. So, quote unquote, peak age and um, for fantasy or for football. Um, but I still think that this guy is such an athlete that he can produce beyond that. Now, I love what you said. If you, I think that if you need pieces, if you are in a stage where you are rebuilding, then uh, I wouldn't mind you know you getting two to three pieces plus of very very good guys. Now, don't just go and sell them for whatever because I'm telling you, yeah, he's he's tradable. Make the right moves for your dynasty, but and get the most out of you know, Christian McCaffrey, because he is such a valuable asset to have. Uh, yeah. But I wouldn't be necessarily looking to trade CMC right now uh, because he is such a game changer. Like I said, even if you don't have a very good team, CMC can yeah. make up for that significantly. Uh, very similar to how Patrick Mahomes can can overshadow a terrible fantasy team because he could put it on your on his back because that's how skilled he is at that position. Speaking of Patrick Mahomes, you see my my headband here. If you guys yeah, are watching the that. video, you see Patrick I'm, I'm rocking. Mahomes sponsor you is, is Yeah, it, dude. You don't, don't, told don't me worry about, about this it. Yet? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry. Unbelievable. I just I need to let you know I'm going solo. Doing oh. a solo album. All right. Well. Um no, I I love your point here, Johnny, and I think the 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 biggest point here that Whisper Nation should hold on to is the fact that you need to be fluid in fantasy. Mm -hmm. You need to be ready to adapt at any time. And the, and the big reason is because things change really effing fast. Like, we are just a couple years away. Uh, We're or, recording or, this Tom, show right now, and it's already <laughs> old. Old data. <laughs> Exactly. No, we're just a couple years away from watching Todd Gurley fall off, from watching David Johnson fall off. These guys that we thought were on top of the mountain and never going to come down, uh, they eventually did fall off. This is a violent, crazy position that they play. And it gets beat the hell up. It's like a, a miniature car wreck every time they, they get tackled. So I think that's the thing to remember here. And as Johnny said, wearing tear on his tires at Stanford. He ran as a bell cow pretty much at Stanford for his years there too. So I think that's, um, I think that's the big takeaway here is that you you need to be ready to trade. Should you go out and seek the trade? No, but you should listen to offers on CMC for sure. I mean, very, All right. very good point on like the run. Just looking at the running backs, this is just this is just two years ago, Travis. Two years ago at the running back position um, rankings. Todd Gurley, number one, Le'Veon Bell, Alvin Kamara, Kareem Hunt, Melvin Gordon, Mark Ingram, LaShawn McCoy, Carlos Hyde, Leonard Fournette, and CMC. Yeah. So, uh, like, out of that list of 10, there's only a few 
Alvin Kamara and Christian McCaffrey are pretty much the only two guys, and maybe Leonard Fournette, that you would still take within that top 10. That's I mean, that's that's the thing. It's a cycle. And like last year, you're taking James Conner within the top 10. Now he's fall, fallen multiple rounds. I think it's just the way this thing works and the way the position is. And so just be ready to be fluid and don't marry a certain player just because he's on your roster, just because you have a little bit of a fantasy man crush on him. Thank you for listening to the Fantasy Whisperers podcast. You can hear more from John and Travis on Google Play, SoundCloud, and iTunes. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at TF Whisperers.